for stopping by. This is Truth Goddess Tarot 777. Today's read is for Sagittarius. Just for Sag. All right, Sagittarius, let's begin. Wow. It looks like at the bottom of this deck, there is a storm coming for someone. Wow. Flipped over. Yeah, there's a storm warning. Hmm. Or there was a storm warning. Let's clarify that storm warning. Yeah, an accident. Some sort of accident, a storm warning. Something. Storm warning. It's talking about some obstacle, drama, something that occurred. This all occurred based on the energies, which is really referring to this unconventional connection or somebody's beliefs, somebody's work, somebody's work that they had a strong belief in, something that was not of the norm, something that was allowing this person to lose their freedom their personal beliefs, their freedom going against the grain. So this person was going against the grain when it came to their work. Unconventional. Somebody was actually pretty foolish. They were generous. They were a hypocrite. Somebody had blind faith, right? So somebody was working tool and labor. Somebody did some work that in fact, and again, this was something that was unconventional, that a project, a, a connection, a, a job, a career, something, some sort of self-development. This person, was doing something that was really greedy and misdirected. So someone did some things that was, hmm, uninspired. No, hmm, no motion, no action. So about this person's work, there was somebody that, they're now uninspired about some a particular career, a job, something that they were working hard to do that was very unconventional, toil and labor. I mean, they put a lot of time, a lot of energy into a particular assignment. This person, in reality, it's about forgiveness and it's about their money. So this person did some unconventional work that wasn't wise, it was pretty foolish, that lost them a lot of money. Money problems, matters, work, material. Money problems, work, material things, and success. So this person has lost or is not forgiven themselves for the work that they did. The work that they did was something that was unconventional it was something that was not ethical. This is the way they were creating this abundance, this, this treasure chest of money hidden. See, now they're perplexed. They're in their head. They're stressed out. They lost a lot of money. They were investing. If you notice, they're drinking Let's look at this person. They're losing their home. They were believing and connecting with someone to the right. All to try to get to the bag. When it comes to workaholic, this is somebody that's spying on you, Sagis. Possibly online dating, reminiscing, networking. So whatever they were doing, it was on social media. 
Wow. So somebody invested in a project or a business that involved social media, online dating, in which they were spying on people. Something they were doing with a, with a third-party connection. This was something they really enjoyed doing. It was in the public, a social gathering. Hmm. So this is something they really enjoy doing. The only reason why they don't enjoy doing it now is because they are, res they are, what is it? Sad, depressed with the five of cups. So there's something about this person's work. I mean, forgive me, Saggies. This, this seems a little choppy, but the reason it's choppy is because in my head, this situation really doesn't make any sense. But I'm here to give you the message, all right? To the best of my abilities and to whatever the most high gives to me. So it seems like this person did some sort of work that was not successful. It was, it was a job. It was some sort of work. I feel like this work was something that was illegal. They lost money. It was an online business. It was some way in which there was some sort of unethical work that was done online. They invested, they put a lot of money into this. And again, it was social media, some sort of way. But where, where it comes out to be the breakup and single, this is in reference to the abundance. So this person, somebody walked away and now this person is isolated. So they were in a connection or they had a, a thriving type of business online that they had a lot of passion about, but they were thirsty. It's like this person was very thirsty. This person had a lot of power. This person was very confident. This person was the ringleader. They were the boss. They were emperor, a female or not. This person was the boss of this enterprise with a lover that they're no longer attached to. Self-love, disharmony, misalignment. So this connection that they were working on, this project, there was a storm warning. So there's something that is being, it, it's something that's being seen. And they this is something that shook up the, st the stability of this, connection and also this enterprise we'll call it an enterprise 808 as i speak this yeah this is something that they were happy to do they were at home this person also did some sort of creative work at home they did work at home it was on the internet and i said that even before that card so they did something, some work at home with a, a part in a partnership that now that they're imprisoned about, they may be going to prison. They're in despair. So whatever work they did at home with this person, this was something that they really are finding themselves trying to have, find, oh my goodness. It's like this person was trying to find a purpose. This is what they were doing. Finding a meaning. Sensible. This person was doing something that they needed to find some sort of meaning. The gift is in reverse. So they... Hmm. So this person may have had a marriage in the home. They may have gotten married. So the gift is they feel like the, the gift was a marriage with a woman or a man, a marriage. The gift is this person realizes that the balance and the meaning would be with you, male or female. 
this person knew that stability stemmed from a connection with you. This is why they're trapped in their head because this person really was out here courting another person, a female, courtship in the main female. So they were doing some work or maybe they met this other person here, this main female that they were courting on social media. This person lost a lot of money connecting with somebody on social media or on a dating site. That's what this is. So this person broke up with you to become single so they could get on social media and party and celebrate and, you know, turn up. That's what they did. They did. So this person broke up with you so they could be with somebody that they met on social media that with this person that they deemed as their new lover, that person took finances. Basically, they were online dating. They met this person online. They were... Maybe they saw this person online because I want, they saw this person online and they started dating this individual. So they broke up with you. This is why they're in despair. This is why they're crying. They're filled with a lot of grief. It's like this person just lost themselves when they did some sort of project. It was an unconventional, unrealistic type of relationship. This same person had the same personal beliefs as they did. That's what the other thing is. So they made money together. They worked together. Whatever business they had that they did on social media with this main female that they started dating, they regret it. They didn't see that having a sensible connection with you in a marriage or a partnership it didn't make any sense to them. They didn't want a real stable foundation. They didn't want to have a regular quote unquote marriage or a relationship. They turned their nose on anything that was traditional. Traditional meaning a man and a woman. This person did things with somebody obviously on social media that was unconventional. We are in the Aquarius age. So whatever they were doing, they were, you know, climbing. I don't know where the word climbing is coming from. But they climbing. They were doing some climbing, some unconventional things. Energy levels, 2121. 21. Prosperity, harmony, journey, waiting, discipline, exaggeration, the opposite sex. Oh my goodness. This is what they were doing. They were doing things with the opposite sex. That's what they were doing. They were doing some things with the opposite sex and the same sex. Lessons learned. Yep, 999. This person learned lessons that them having this unconventional connection on a platform is keeping them either stuck in their mind or going to prison. Instead of choosing the gift or the blessing and the upright, it was in reverse. So having a traditional marriage or a traditional relationship was kind of boring to this individual. And they regret it. They are sad. They cry every night. They worry that they made a huge mistake when they put you through a lot. They blocked you out. They were determined to have this unconventional, sadistic, that's what came, connection in dating this person online. They were, they were, it was set in stone. They wanted to be single. They said that they wanted to be, um, they wanted to be single. They wanted to block any kind of knowledge or wisdom to have a traditional kind of family. They didn't want that. They wanted to be honest and direct with what they wanted. 
it seems here that you were direct and truthful to this person, telling them that you were very traditional and how you live. This person didn't like that. They weren't that way. Sagis, this person that you were dating, they don't believe in traditional connections at all. They find it to be boring. They, they do. This person likes to swim with the sharks. Mm -hmm. They had a goal and they promised this person that they would maybe commit to this individual. They made a promise to that person. And now they've lost that person that they made promises to. That's why the breakup card is here. Because they were made a promise to build and make a connection with somebody that they either met on, the, on social media. Somebody that was a close friend. Somebody that they had always had a, you know, always hooked up with somebody that would cause a storm in their life, but they were determined to continue on with this individual. See, this person knows that blocking or trying to defeat, because there's a lot of wands here. We have the nine of wands, the seven of wands, and the king of wands, somebody that's very determined to see what they want to see, do what they want to do. This person was going to live this unconventional lifestyle, whether you liked it or not. We're going to ask spirit for the storm warning. Yeah. And in multiple partnerships with this Libra card. Yep. This person wanted to live unconventional. And I feel like this is something people didn't know. Tell us the backstory about this storm warning. I don't think you knew this person's uh-huh. This is why they were withdrawn. Because this was always their goal. This person, yeah, they they were connected to dark deities, energies. This person had a energy that was supernatural attached to them. And this is why they, oh my God, they married a demon. <laughs> This person got married and connected and partnered up with a devil. This is why they were withdrawn to you. But this was their wildest imagination. This is what they wanted to do. They allowed this person to bully them. Yep. So this person really um, lived on the edge. And for this to be an emperor, this could be a father figure, somebody that, hmm, somebody that, you know, is sort of kind of respected in a sense. This person is, um, this person lives like they are very conventional. They act from the outside, this person looks like somebody that would want a traditional kind of a connection, but no, this person withdraws from anything that's quote unquote normal. So they lost their, they lost everything when they wanted to live this lifestyle that involved multiple connections, it seems. It's like th this was a, some sort of, I don't know, this is really crazy. But they, they withdrew from anything that's normal. I, I quote, I say normal, but anything that has any real, like, balance and harmony. This, this person likes a lot of drama. Yep, uh, yep, that's what I said. This person likes drama. They like things to go around and around. They like chaos and confusion this person yeah they wish they didn't have a love hate relationship with you or someone else but they're worried because they're being investigated by the authorities and this is why this person is trying to cope with 
the loss of you because this person got into trouble this person's life is now filled with things that okay they didn't want any strings and they had secret accounts now they have this massive uh, regret but when it came to a family that was something that they again that they did with this other person so they had like a secret kind of a family with this person that they had a business with online they may have had a workplace affair with somebody and again now they're dealing with legal matters and this is why this individual is not happy so some of you guys block this individual you may get it you may be getting spam calls or text messages and it's because it's from somebody that are that's in their feelings right so Sagittarius we're gonna close all right we're going to end this this reading this relationship was a karmic relationship for some of you not all of you but let's give a few final words and then we're closing all right healing heart heartbreak from a toxic addiction i'm telling y'all this person is dealing with a karmic a karmic connection and just karmic people in general that they connect themselves to so they're dealing or trying to heal from a heartbreak the trap the prison card also was in reverse so this person is trying to heal from their lifestyle they're trying to transform and change their mind as to to the way that they think and, and what they believe in this person is somebody that's a rebel they are determined to do things their way this is a person who doesn't um follow the rules society rules i mean aquarian age allows pe people to just do all kind of odd things go against the grain live like you want to live 22 22 as i speak that and again self-image wounds and introspective so now this person is looking at how you live your life and how having a traditional way of living with a man and a woman is really a great thing this is how why man was made as well as woman because all this other stuff in the Aquarian age, these people, the Aquarian age is I know. This person now knows that living the unconventional, rebellious way is not always the smartest way. Yeah, this is the age that we're in, but it doesn't mean you have to conform to it. The golden mirror. Here we are. The golden mirror is self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship and love bombing. So this person was mirroring being mirrored by the individual that they were with they they were love bomb this happened to this person before with that same individual or group of people and they never ascended to the obstacles that these people brought into their life so they just were a follower they're really not a leader you have ascended there will be a connection for you in which you will have eternal love, someone that promises to stay committed to you. And this will ascend you to the next level in which you're going to have a union with someone that does believe in the same thing you do. All right, Sag, that is the read. And again, you are going to be rebuilding and working on a new love and a new connection with someone that does have traditional values right so something may occur a year from now for some of you guys it may be it will be a relationship yep in the near future in the near future came out in reverse these cars keep some of them okay in the near future if you believe so in the near future this person never saw a future with having a traditional connection spirit is saying 
it will be perfect timing within the next few months for you to grow and to move forward with your life. A lot of you guys, this reconsider keeps coming here. So it's something about in the near future that if you believe, okay, so some of you guys may still doubt about a new connection. Some of you guys are stuck in your mind not believing that there's really, there can be true love and happiness with the Ten of Cups. You can have that. You just have to believe it. You have to, and I know I did a reading, a few videos with that, but Spirit is saying you have to know in your heart, in your soul, in your spirit that the truth is imperfect timing you will have somebody that will have you in this energy where you reconsider that love is real and love is true. You have to take a step to move forward to believe that um, and recover from some of your, your broken hearts. There are people that can help you to also learn to forgive the past and move forward so that you will grow and your heart will be available and ready for that next individual. And then you'll say yes to love again. So Sag, that's the read. Thank you for stopping by. Bye.